buckle up, because this episode of Motorhead Garage is going to fly by. Welcome to another edition of Motorhead Garage presented by Top Coat. Now, this is going to be a great show, and I know that because we have two amazing builds. First of all, this Jeep Gladiator. It's a 2020, and by the way, it has a Hellcat engine in it. We're going to talk about that one in a little bit, but I want to start out with this Wrangler. It's a 2021. The build is amazing. The closer you look, the more amazing it gets, and it comes to us courtesy of our friends at DTO Customs. Lane, tell me about this vehicle. Hey, Dave, thanks for having us. So Got this it. is one of our premier level builds that we basically build everything from the ground up, custom to our customers want or just what we kind of like on the lot. We started off this with an Evo Manufacturing 5-inch lift kit, custom powder coated it blue. It's got the King coilovers and it's one awesome ride. On the front, we start with the road armor kit. So we got the bumpers, the fenders, the side steps and everything to match, all color painted. And on this hood, we did our overtread off-road hood that we really love. It really sets off the front end, gives it a very beefy, aggressive you know, look coming down the road. Now let's talk about the hood. How much of this is functional? How much ventilation are you actually getting to the engine? So all these side vents and the top air vents are all functional. You get a little bit more air coming out as well as make the engine a little cooler. And it looks great too. It definitely does that. Well, since we're talking about what's under the hood, uh, tell me what's there. This is a three liter eco diesel engine. Oh. It's kind of new to the Jeep Wrangler market. It's awesome. It's got a lot of torque. It's very peppy and it brings a whole new kind of level of uh, excitement to these Jeep owners. Well, the thing that really stands out to me, this is a stock engine. This is something you can get from the factory. Yes, sir. This comes straight from Jeep. This one has about 442 pounds of torque. Ooh, and how much horsepower? Probably around 295. It'll go anywhere you need to. Then you've got tow hooks and winches. Tell me about those. Yeah, so we've got a winch up front and we've got the road armor shackles. Those are both rated to 40,000 pounds each shackle. So and if, whether you need a buddy to tow you out or hook up around a tree with your little shackle, it's awesome. It'll pull you out. And of course you need to get that power to the ground. So on all four corners, we're running the Nitto Ridge Grapplers, the 38 by 1250 by 22. And on here, we're running the XF forged wheels. They're pretty awesome in this black and milled accents. And kind of spinners there as we look at the- uh, Yeah, the pretty cool logo they make. No matter what, when you're going down the road, it'll always stay logo up. So you've looked at functionality, but style is a big yeah. part of your build here too. Uh, our main goal is make a Jeep that looks great. It can go off road, but it's also going to go real smooth down the highway going to work. One thing you guys have done, I love these fender flares. These are the Road Armor Stealth Integrated LED Fender Flares. So they're part of that whole kit we use. It just makes a really nice surround look. So the bumper, the fenders, the side steps, and even these body mounted light bars. Uh, it just gives you a really cool, aggressive look and it even options with the you know LED lights and the turn signals. Now you've mentioned some of the brands you've used in the build, whether it's the wheels or the light bars or the, the flares. What does that say about you guys, the brands that you're using? We really try to use the best brands as they provide the best quality and the best fit. And that's kind of what our motto is, give the best brand, the best quality service, and just have the best time possibly buying a custom Jeep. It's really important to you guys to give the customer the experience that they want. And what do they need to do when they come to you and they want a Jeep like this? All kinds of different layouts. You know, we can order these straight from Jeep with no miles and you build it exactly how you want. Sometimes you don't want to wait the two months for it to come off that factory line. So we find one on the lot that we already have. We've got a lot of vehicles in inventory, some sitting stock, some of them just have a lift kit on them. You know, we're going to make your dream come true. It's just kind of picking your base platform. And you say you've got stuff on the lot. Like how many models are you talking? Uh, right now, probably around 75 Jeeps on the lot. Oh my goodness. And they're all like this, they're all builds like this. All crazy builds, all kinds of flavors, as we like to say. That's great. How important is it for you to give the customer that experience, to, to enjoy the car buying experience like that? Our customer service is our main priority. Selling cool vehicles is our second. And one thing we didn't touch on is the interior. Of yeah, so this is a custom leather interior we do with Aaliyah leather. Uh, other than that, it's stock. Jeep offers a great product, and as they've grown over the years, so is our business, because now we've got a great adaptable vehicle that people are going to love just for their daily life, as well as having this really awesome appearance. So we only really touch up the leather and sometimes have to add heated seats, but it's, it's just kind of form-fitting to every customer. The thing I like about your philosophy is you want to make this capable of off-roading, but also capable and pleasant to drive on the road. So that leaves only one thing for us. I'm going to go drive this thing. Sounds good to me. All right, Matt, this thing is incredible already. It, it feels great even though we're five inches higher than a stock Jeep. But one of the things you guys didn't tell me about was the soft top. Tell me how that works. Oh, yeah. That's, so that's a new feature that they put in the JL model. That's a one-touch sky top. It's so awesome. It really is one touch. Oh. It operates almost like a pano roof yeah. with a sailcloth, but what's neat about it is the rear windows will still come out so you have an open air frame. You, know, you can open and close these things on the highway up to 50 miles per hour. And that's what I love about what you guys do at DTO Customs. You make a vehicle that looks great, but it's pleasant to drive. How important is that to you? You know, Jeepers love their Jeeps, and we love giving them what they want. So ride quality is the most important thing to us because guess what? A lot of these white people have family, they have kids. We want to make sure that they're getting in something that they can feel safe in. I know another thing you guys are concerned about is the buying process, and you've revolutionized that as well. We do aggressive online pricing, so 
we're very fair on our pricing, and that's how we're reaching so many customers all throughout the United States. They research the pricing, what it should cost, that they do it to themselves. They factor in the time it's going to take, and they realize, wow, this is much better than what I could do on my own, mainly because we're collaborating all these companies together to get everything done at one place for them. It's a one-stop shop. Well, DTO Customs has made the driving experience amazing, and they've made the buying experience amazing as well. You can check them out at DTOCustoms.com, and we are going to see more from them when we come back to Motorhead Garage, presented by Top Coat, right after this.